Rebuilding the critical advanced electronics industry requires a focus on the full system, beyond just chips. Semiconductor chips are among the most sophisticated technologies ever invented. They are rarely seen, but they are the brains of the electronics we rely on in daily life, from computers and smartphones to aircrafts, medical devices and electric vehicles. In today's technology-driven world, a robust chips industry is critical to industrial resiliency, economic competitiveness and scientific innovation. In recent years, the European Union has marginalised electronics manufacturing, which exacerbated a chip shortage during the Covid pandemic. This shortage stalled manufacturing lines across Europe and raised concerns about whether the European Union can become a leader in the global semiconductor industry. In response, the European Union adopted the European CHIPS Act, a €43 billion Euro initiative aimed at bolstering research, innovation and production capabilities of chips within the EU, strategically committing to a key segment of the electronic sector. But focusing on chips just isn't enough. Yes, chips are incredible, but they are useless until they are packaged and then connected with other vital components on printed circuit boards within systems. This electronics interconnection gives life to chips by endowing them with functionality. And just as chips are becoming more advanced, so too are their packages, printed circuit boards and the electronics assemblies. The EU's reliance on non-EU electronics is a critical vulnerability. Over the past two decades, the EU's share of global printed circuit boards has plummeted even faster than its share of semiconductor chips production. This dependency on non-EU suppliers is projected to worsen by 2035 if decisive actions are not taken. The CHIPS Act, then, is a necessary first step in revitalising EU chips manufacturing. But it is just that, a first step. The European Union must complement the CHIPS Act with initiatives to strengthen the broader electronics ecosystem, from silicon chips to advanced electronic systems, including printed circuit boards and assembly of complex integrated systems. After all, people don't buy semiconductor chips. They buy phones, computers, cars and other systems those chips go into. Anything less than a silicon to system strategy threatens the success of the CHIPS Act and the future of Europe's innovation. Electronics leadership today requires strong ecosystems regionally and strong partnerships globally. Learn more about silicon to systems at ipc.org/eu.